Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we're going to be going over the Shipment 12 review. Basically talking about what all I did to build Shipment 12. So, the first thing was off on issue 63. In issue 63, it had us to basically put a metal bracket inside the hole. Which is right here. It had us to put this metal bracket right here inside the hole. And then it also had us to put a metal hole piece inside the hole. So let me flip this around. And get it to where I can show you. Okay. So... It had us to put this, uh, tilt this camera down. It had us to put this red metal hole piece in first. Which you can see right here. It had us to put that red metal hole section in. Okay, my bad. It's, not on, it's on this side over here. It had us to put this piece in. Oh, sorry, my allergies are bothering me. And then, let me put this up out of the way. After we done that, it then took us to this building right here, and we had to do reflective stickers. So we had to put reflective stickers into the, um, the engine, uh... The engine cover, the building that goes over top of the engine, the engine casing, more reflective stickers, and then it had us to attach the engine casing down to the deck with four AP screws. Then after we did that, then it took us to the third funnel house, and then we had to put reflective stickers Everywhere inside the third funnel house. You can see that reflective stickers. We even put some of those reflective, uh, or not reflective, but um, light bleed um, stickers inside. And then we attach the third funnel down to the base. So let me get that. <sighs> So right here, we attached the third funnel down to the base. After we got the third funnel down to the base, it had us to flip it. And then we did a whole lot of wiring. Fastening wires into place. And then its last thing that it had us to do was to put our lifeboat covers, our tarpaulins, over the two lifeboats up towards the front of the officer's quarters. So, go up here to what officer's quarters is. It had us to put these two covers onto the lifeboats up near the first funnel. So it had us to do that. And then we move on to issue 64. <laughs> so when we got to issue 64, the first thing that it had us to do was put a bunch of reflective stickers inside of the officer's quarters. So, reflective stickers galore. Then it had us to put the officer's quarters down to the deck and screw it in place and do all this wiring. Then we also put a uh, another light bleed sticker underneath the area. So we'll look at that real fast. 
So, basically it had us to put down the officer's quarters down to the deck. Then we attached it down to the deck with 12 AP screws. Going all the way through here, 12 AP screws. We did a lot of wiring. And that sticker <laughs> is right here. It had us to put that sticker in to cover up that hole that's underneath the third funnel. And I'm going to try to get you a good view of this because this is pretty cool. So I'm going to try to get this up to the light. And I'm going to try to focus the camera up here to it. First I'm going to zoom it in. And then if you can see right here. Here is all the work that I've done to my grand staircase. And there's my little angel cherub that I super glued in the middle. You can see there, there's my grand staircase inside the ship. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera still, but it's hard to hold a big ship and the camera too. Up there's the skylight. But yeah, that's the work that I did in my grand staircase. Alright, so I'll get you back here and zoom you back out. So after we did all of that, we got the officer's quarters down, we did all the wiring. It then had us to... Go back towards the, uh, the third, where the third funnel is. So, tilt this up. It had us to go right here to where the third funnel is. Let me move this up. And it had us to put these two pipes down that goes across the um, the two houses on the deck. After that, it had us to put this vent on. Then after we did that, then we went back to the metal section of the hole. So, let me set this down. Let me move this out of the way. Me, if you say you I gotta blow my nose, I'm sorry. My sinuses are acting up bad. Oh. Seems like no matter what I do, I just can't get better. Oh, I hate allergy season. Alright. So, picking up the ship. Putting it up here, making sure that I don't hit anything. Alright. So our next thing that we done was attach this metal piece into the hull of the ship. It had us to attach. And then after we done that... We didn't attach the, um, the the first cross support beam, which is right here. We attached this in place, this cross support beam that goes across the ship. We attached that in there with four AM screws. And then after that, that was the completed work. And then we move on to issue 65. So, 65. Alright, so let me grab the, the hull of the ship and get it out of the way again. Alright. So the first thing that we did in 65, we was going back to the boat deck. And it had us to attach some pipes to the funnel. On this side right here. Took you down. It had us to attach this pipe. To the funnel right there. 
And then after we done that, we then had to turn it around to the other side. Just give me a few seconds here to get this situated. Right there. We then had to turn it around to the other side. And then we had to attach this pipe. Basically, right here. After those pipes were attached, it then took us to the back of the ship. So, give me a few seconds here. Let me get that. So, it then took us to the back of the ship. Right here. And it told us to attach this pipe to the ship. So, we attach that pipe to the ship. And then it also told us to attach these two ducts, these two ventilation ducts right here, that one and that one on the other side. It told us to attach those down to where the fourth funnel is. And then the last thing that it had us to do was to go to the very back of the boat deck and we attached our last two benches to the back of the boat deck. After that was done, it then took us to the front of the ship. So let me get that. It then took us to the front of the ship right up here. Let me turn you around right here. And then it told us to put both sections of the roof onto the wheelhouse and the boathouse. Or the officer's quarters. Officer's quarters roof and the wheelhouse. After that, we then got the big old metal section of the hole again. So, let me set this over here. And let me grab the big old hole section. All right, zoom me out. And then it had us to attach this red piece this time on this side. It had us to attach that. Then it took us to the other side over here, and we put this bracket in on this side right here. We put the first little bracket on. After that, that was the completed work. Then we move on to issue 66. When we got to issue 66, the first thing that it had us to do... Was to attach this bracket to this black section of the hole first. Basically right here. And then once we attach that bracket to the black section of the hole. We then attached this black section of the hole to the ship. And then after that, that was the completed work. Then we move on to 67. Oh. When we got to issue 67, we basically got our first piece of the promenade deck, which I've done a whole lot of modifications to mine. But our first piece of the promenade deck. And it had us to attach all these pieces of wood. Three pieces of wood. A, a piece up here, a piece here, and a piece here on the side. It had us to attach these wooden pieces down to 
to the first piece of the A deck promenade. So, right here. It has to attach these three pieces of wood down to the A deck promenade. And then that right there was your completed work. <laughs> and then we move on to the very last issue, which is issue 68. Now when we got to issue 68, the first thing that it had us to do was to take the, um, the promenade uh, bulkhead wall which is this section right here, the promenade bulkhead wall. It then had us to basically attach these two supports to the promenade boat deck wall, and then we attached this to the front, holding it in with two CP screws. And then these two fasten pieces at the front. You just basically fastened it to the front. And then that right there is what you had left to do on the um, the A deck promenade deck. And then after that, you then uh, put your last support bracket right here with uh, four AM screws. And then when you've done that, that was your completed work. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this video. This was the review on shipment 12 of what all we did to get this built so far. Really looking forward to uh, shipment 13. Because we're going to be getting the whole rest of the um, the uh, the promenade A deck. And I got a whole lot of modifications to do on the floors of A deck when it comes in. So be looking forward to those videos. But our next video that we'll be going over before I go over some more Transformers, I'm going to be weighing all of this, and I'm also going to be doing something new. I'm also going to be doing some measurements to show you how big it's getting. Like the wideness, the longness of it, the tallness of it, we'll be doing all the measurements. I'm going to add that now in my um, weighing videos. But be looking forward to that. But until then, you all have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys in my next one. And goodbye.